So here is an example of where these elites could push folks like Paul Ryan. Now, um, Paul Ryan goes on uh, the Sunday show, Face the, uh, meet the, was it? Face the Nation with uh, John Dickerson. And Dickerson pushes a little bit. And I think he pushes, uh, you know, relatively speaking, as much as you'll see anybody in the media press. He also did a good job recently with Mitch McConnell's exactly. lies about the filibuster. Yes. But there needs to be more. Because if the Barbara Boxers and all of the Democratic senators are willing to sacrifice the Senate committee and get more pointed in their blaming the enablers of Donald Trump, then folks like John Dickerson, they'll go even further. He doesn't do this in a vacuum. He is X distance out from where the sort of like, uh, you know, the, the safety lies. And if safety lies further out and, and more aggressive in terms of questioning and holding these people to account, then folks like him will get more aggressive. Here he is on Face the Nation with Paul Orion. And this is, when is this? On Sunday, right? This is the day after the shooting. You've seen some Trump, uh, President Trump's rallies. Do those rallies accentuate the things that unite us, the bipartisan achievements, or are they, uh, do they do something very successful in politics, is get wildly successful, yeah. which is so division in the country? Yeah. Do you see that happening at his rallies? Sometimes, yeah. Uh, sometimes meaning? Well, not always, but sometimes. I worry about tribal identity politics becoming the new norm positive. of how politics... Uh, positive for a second. Excuse me. So sometimes at Donald Trump's rallies, you see this? Sometimes. Sometimes. Is that most of the time or just like all the time? Sometimes I'm a good boy. Or does he mean sometimes I watch Trump rallies and every time I do, I see that. <laughs> But I only watch it sometimes, so I can't say all the time. That's what he's saying, because, you know, Paul Ryan's a big fan of the, I didn't see that. Right. I'm just trying to cut the yeah, Koch brothers' I took taxes. Twitter off my phone, yeah. and I cut the cord on cable, so I don't see anything. And trying to live a more mindful life. Anymore. I'm going to Walden Pond. Yeah. All right, go back just a little bit. Yeah. Uh, sometimes meaning, well, not always, but sometimes. I worry about tribal identity politics becoming the new norm of how politics is waged. As conservatives, we always thought this was sort of a left-wing Linsky thing. Unfortunately, the right practices identity politics now as well. It's Pause the day it. and so let me just get this straight. Um, at what point did this uh, left-wing Linsky thing happen on the right? Was it when uh, the former Speaker of the House, John Boehner, refused to tell members of his caucus, don't push the birtherism story? Please don't introduce uh, legislation about birtherism. Was it then? Was it the entire cult built around the idea that Vince Foster was uh, killed 20 years ago? I mean, I would go on and on. And conversely, but. was the Alinsky thing when Obama said that he would pay people's legal fees if they punched people <laughs> at his rallies? Was that when that happened? New Black Panthers, I got you covered. Yeah. Oh, what? What? Is there a honky in the crowd? We breaking some mail? I got the bills covered. I got a f special endowment from Saudi Arabia for that shit. There's my white guy. <laughs> he gets my it. white guy. He gets he it. it. He, he, he got it. He gets it. What's up, Billy Bob? There you go. The right practices identity politics now as well. It's the day and age. It's technology and everything else. Identity politics, which is now being practiced on both sides of the aisle, is unfortunately working. And I think pause we, it. Just. There's one party, incidentally, that is made up of one identity. Not total, not 100%, 95%. There's one party. That is the Republican Party, made up of 95% white people. Continue. I think we, as leaders, we gotta figure out how do we make inclusive aspirational politics strategically valuable again you've talked about inclusive Posit. politics there he is paul ryan admitting that it is not in our best interest to make uh politics more inclusive 
like I say, there's one party that is 95% one identity. There's another party, in terms of like uh, measured by elections, at the very least, where 40 some odd, 5%, 40% is white. Uh, there is it's all the identities men that like identity women politics. And all the other identities. <laughs> Huge mix. A lot of identities. A lot of ticks. Mm -hmm. Strategically valuable again. You've talked about inclusive politics which tries to unify. Does President Trump practice those kind of politics? Uh, sometimes he does and sometimes he doesn't. Pause it. Oh, are there times where Donald Trump is inclusive? Oh, that's right. He said, there's my black. Right. There's times when he's like, black people love me. Some of them And are everybody good people. should be nice to me. I had Kanye. Yeah. I got I got Kanye. I got him. Hey, Kanye, let me ask you a question. There is a party that already uh, is incentivized to have inclusive politics. There is already one of those parties. There, there may be other things wrong with that party, not necessarily from Paul Ryan's perspective, but from mine. But the one thing they do do is inclusive politics. Sometimes he doesn't. How? Uh, but I mean, come on, honestly. I no, mean, I mean, sometimes very... look, look on economic growth and then tax reform on getting the military and helping veterans. Uh, those are things that he has led us to that have really brought people together. And he talks about these at his rally, and that is inclusive. Pause it. No. First of all, like, yeah, John Dickerson has to be like, what, really? Seriously? Oh, let me make up a couple of things that are Republican, that Republicans like, like the tax cuts. The tax cuts are less popular than Obamacare. The tax cuts are less popular than Obamacare. Obamacare has 51% support. The tax cuts have somewhere around, I don't know, 40% support. The vast majority of it is Republican. Give me a break. It's nuts.